card number seven ruby kills oswald so many assassinations in the 1960s ruby kills oswald and this is ruby oswald this is a famous video the other assassination right one of the other assassinations and this is uh, check this out this picture right here is when they were bringing out uh, oswald and the hand here is jack ruby coming up and shooting oswald in the stomach right and the police officers that were holding oswald they basically let it happen right they offered oswald as a sacrificial lamb and there's a lot of shenanigans with this as well beautiful picture beautiful picture beautiful painting right Let's see if we can get a good focus on this there we go look at that absolutely beautiful wow i think he fired twice ruby kills oswald on sunday morning november 24th millions of television viewers watched in shock as lee o lee oswald was shot dead in the basement of the dallas police headquarters with oswald gone the evidence against them escalated on the 25th dallas police revealed they had found oswald's palm print on his rifle the funeral director later said police officers had spent hours with Oswald's corpse, leaving ink all over his hand. Oswald's killer was Jacob Leon Rubenstein, a.k.a. Uh, AKA Jack Ruby, owner of a local strip joint called the Carousel. Ruby's perfectly timed, unseen access to the basement suggests the complicity complicity of one or more dallas policemen many of whom frequented the carousel where they received free drinks and occasional favors from ruby's girls dallas police chief jesse curry chose the basement route for oswald's transfer to dallas county jail despite early morning morning phone calls warning of a plot to kill oswald quote right there in the basement end quote to kill oswald right there in the basement the officer in charge of basement security was lieutenant george butler whom ruby had known since 1947 like many dallas police butler was a kkk man and he he moonlit moonlit it as a personal security guard for oil billionaire h l hunt moments before the shooting ruby concealed himself behind his friend of 11 years detective william blackie johnson in 1963 ruby's failing nightclub was for sale and he owed forty thousand dollars in back taxes three hours after kennedy's assassination he went to his bank with seven thousand dollars in large bills he then closed his club and for two days he stalked Oswald, visiting the police station several times before finally silencing him. He had had someone made Ruby an offer he couldn't refuse. 